In one of your headline making stories this evening, 12 districts have been severely affected by the heavy showers that battered the country during the past few days. The Disaster Management Center said that two people were killed by landslides and floods in the island. Twenty six thousand four hundred and ninety two people from seven thousand five hundred and sixty five families residing in the Badulla, Munaragala, Betiklo, Mulathivu, Jaffna, Kandy, Nuarelia, Hambantota, and Anuradhapura districts have been affected by the inclement weather. According to the Disaster Management Centre, 11,916 people are seeking shelter at relief centres. 21 houses have been completely destroyed, while 250 houses were partially damaged. The highest rainfall in the 24 hours that ended at 8.30 a.m. today was recorded from the Bakamuna area in the Polonarua district. This area experienced a rainfall of 228 millimetres. Spill gates of 42 reservoirs belonging to the irrigation department have been opened. The Anuradhapura district has been affected the most by the inclement weather conditions and the spill gates of the Kalavava have been opened at 18 feet each. 22 of the 30 spill gates of the Rajangani Reservoir have also been opened. Six spill gates of the Nachidua Reservoir remain open. According to our correspondent, spill gates of the Nuravava, Tisavava, Basavakulama, Mahavilachia, and Turuvila Reservoirs have also been opened. Residents of seven divisional secretariats in low lying areas have been affected after the spill gates of the Rajangani Reservoir were opened. Lifeguards attached to the Disaster Management Centre rescued residents of the Yaya 4 village who were caught in the floods. The Gulnava Kakirava main road was inundated close to the Kalavava bridge, while the road from Bulnava to Andagala through Anuradhapura was also inundated in Amunugama. Our correspondent said that the Migalava Epavela main road and the Gulnava Tambutegama main road were also inundated. Many houses in the Payagala Divisional Secretariat in Ambagasvava had been flooded. This is how the Rajanganya 5th mile post Tenyaya village was inundated. The Northern Railway track was flooded in Aukana. The Navy rescued a group of residents of the Dikvella village in Ipulogama this afternoon. A correspondent said that the Tambapani village was completely flooded as a result of all 20 spill gates of the Tabbova Reservoir being opened. 25 families in the village are currently being sheltered at the Tabbova Vihara Stania. Eight spill gates of the Parakrama Samudre were open, while Suasetagama and a number of other villages were flooded after the Mahaveli River overflowed. This is footage from Gallal. The police and the army took steps to rescue 40 passengers inside a bus which was caught in the currents in Manampitiya. After three days of heavy showers, the spill gates of the Kandalama, Bovatanna and Vimadilla reservoirs were opened. 1,000 cubic feet per second is being released from the spill gates of the Kandalama reservoir to the Kala Oya through the Mirisgoni Oya. Flow of traffic along the Vavala Dambulla road was disrupted. Many low-lying areas and farmlands have been inundated after four spill gates of the Ibankatua Dambulla Oya reservoir were opened. The affected people are being sheltered at the Veera Mohana Vidyalaya in Mathale. A mound of soil collapsed onto a house due to heavy rains in Panguatha yesterday. According to our correspondent, five people were in the house at the time of the incident. The area residents had rescued them and admitted them to the Badulla and Pasara hospitals. The Badulla Hagoda Bridge was completely flooded. There are about 150 families residing in Jayagama Badulla and they are facing a risk of landslides. Our correspondent said that three houses have already been affected by the landslides and even a slight shower could trigger a serious landslide in the region. This is how the Nuara Elia Ambeavela Road had given away from the Rain the Vela region due to incessant rains. 
Our correspondent said that residents of line houses in Rendapula have been advised to evacuate. According to our correspondent, the Sengal Oya water control gate of the Dadru Oya had broken down. The Disaster Management Centre and the Air Force had taken steps to rescue residents of the Mavilode and Kithul villages belonging to the Chenkaladi Divisional Secretariat in Batiklo. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Disaster Management Centre says the spill gates of the Morogaha Khanda Reservoir may have been opened as the reservoir has almost reached spill level due to the incessant rains. In Assistant Director of the DMC, Pradeep Kodipiti, said that the residents on either sides of the Abanganga should remain vigilant. Let's now take a look at your weather forecast. The Med Department stated that showery conditions over the island particularly in the northern, eastern, north-central Uva and central provinces and in the Hammathoda district is expected to enhance to some extent again from tomorrow. Heavy falls of about 100 to 150 millimetres are likely at some places in the eastern, Uva, central and north-central provinces and in the Mulathivu and Kilinochi districts. Fairly heavy falls of about 75 to 100 millimetres are likely at some places in the Sabaragamu and Western Provinces and in Hambantota, Gaul and Kurunagala districts. Meanwhile, the landslide warning issued to six districts has been extended until tomorrow. The National Building Research Organization said that the landslide warnings have been issued to certain divisional secretariats in the Mathale, Kandy, Nuar Elia, Badulla, Munaragala and Ratnapura districts.